In this video I will show you how to set up your Spark post account and start sending emails. So uh, let's start. First log into your Spark post account, uh, then go to your account. Yes, by the way here you can uh, see your progress. So you can simply click on things what you need to do. First of all you will be required to verify your email address. You will get your APA for sending. Then you need to connect, do connection, uh, you need to complete all these next steps. So let's start from this one, create a sending domain, let's click on it. Here you need to add domain, click on add domain. Okay, so I will add, I will add now my domain name, I will use this one. Click on add. Okay, so it's completed. Uh, now it required to verify it. So I will click on settings. And here we need to add, uh, we need to create uh, one more record and edit in your uh, domain provider. DNS settings. So this is my provider. Here it is manage DNS and all records. So I will click on it. Advanced. Here I will be will be able to create and add new records. Let's see what it asking me to create. So a uh, host name like this. We'll copy. record type txt and destination so type txt and destination this one so we'll click on copy and we'll add it here and click add so a record created let's test it As you can see, uh, domain is uh, seems to be verified. Let's check. Yes, this step is completed. This one uh, as well. If uh, tick uh, is uh, like this, simply click on manage your sending domains. And click back, and it will appear. Now we need to create a bones uh, create a bones domain. Uh, bones domain is required to create in order to improve delivery rate so let's click on this option and let's click on add domain so let's create uh, bones domain I will click on it I will add new domain I will use same domain but I will add here like this, so it's like subdomain. Click on add domain. Uh, so, sub, uh, so bonds domain has been created. Now we need to verify this as well. So, click on settings and we need to create uh, one more uh, DNS record. So, I will copy host name. And this is uh, CNN type. So, go back here. Add following information and copy value to destination and click on add. Okay, when it's done, we need to click on test to verify it. Yes, record is verified. Let's go back to our spare post. As you can see. Uh, all steps are completed and we can start sending a test email so let's add here our email uh, 
and click on send email here you can see the test email is uh, sent and we can check it in our inbox so uh, it's just arrived as you can see here it is so all is working and uh, if you will go to your account here is your sent email key auto generated if you click on SMTP relay here are all details what you can use uh, what you can add in your uh, program what you are using for uh, email sending for example here are a list of uh, programs what you can use so simply you can uh, add hostname, port name, communication, login, encryption and your password and you can use any email uh, from this domain so it work like this okay uh, if you have any questions so uh, by the way if you will click on uh, for example here on top of links for example if you are using uh, atomic mail sender if you will click here you will be able to see uh, how to set up it it's uh, really easy so here are simply you need to click on SMTP in configuration settings and add all the, the details and set up a limit uh, how many emails you will send and you can send from any email from that domain like uh, for example Nancy at was funding or Peter at was funding and it comes so any email you can use uh, okay guys I hope this video was helpful and if you will have any questions requests make sure to comment under this video uh, have a nice day bye